Hey guys, today I'm bringing you all along with me for a fun trip to the pet store. I really only needed pellets, but since it's been a while since I bought things for my guinea pigs, I figured why not spoil them with some extra delights. I'll also show you what I usually buy and give you some buying tips and tricks. What I love about coming to the pet store is that there are often new things that I discover, so it will be a fun time. We all have our favorite stores and I love this one, I always go there. It's 2 degrees Celsius today, that's a bit cold for all my non-Canadian followers, maybe I should have put on a winter coat. What interests us today? The aisle for small animals. Oh, a maze that can be personalized. That's great. So as I said earlier, I came to buy pellets. If you're new, what you want for your guinea pigs are bags of pellets with no added seeds or not mixed like this one for example. This bag of pellets I do not recommend at all, simply because it contains seeds that are unsuitable for the guinea pig's diet. I feed my girl Lee's complete caviar. These are pellets for young guinea pigs under 6 months old. And these are for adult guinea pigs. Ah, I had never seen these pellets before. It's something new here. I'm tempted to give them a try, but first I always check the ingredients. For the bag of caviar, we have 13.5% protein and 18% in total for the bag. I don't know what the ash is for in the ingredients. Please let me know in the comments if you know. For calcium, calcium levels are really low, perfect for guinea pigs who need a low calcium diet. I see there's omega-3 and omega-6 supplement, while the other does not have. I'm not sure if guinea pigs need extra fatty acids in their diet, so again, if you know, please leave a comment. Aspen bedding. Aspen bedding is safe for guinea pigs. I don't see any dust, so I think it's definitely great quality. There are also pine shavings. Make sure it's not dusty. A bag of mixed flowers and herbs. I had already bought some and my guinea pigs had a blast, so I will definitely buy some more. Hay blends, Timothy hay and orchard grass. I think it's good to have combined two types of hay together. It gives guinea pigs taste variety and also a variety of nutrients. Oat hay, botanical hay, alfalfa hay which is recommended for young guinea pigs under 6 months of age, and orchard grass which my fur babies like a lot too. Ah, little novelty here. Timothy hay with the addition of small pieces of dried vegetables. There's also the version with the addition of dried flowers. I think I'll test it. I'm sure my guinea pigs will like it. I've never tried this hay. It's meadow hay. Leave a comment if you've tried it before. Pellets for other small animals, pet carriers. As you probably already know, exercise wheels are not for guinea pigs because they damage their spine.
two nodes to them belong. There are also plastic tunnels, water bottles. I'll take one for my reserve. It's always good to have one aside. Paper-based bedding. It's safe and absorbent, but it becomes an expensive product. Also try to avoid colors and scent added in paper-based bedding. Dishes that hang on the cage grids, perfect if your pets tend to tip their bowls. Chew toys with too much dye, please avoid them. Apple sticks that my piggies love to chew on. Dried fruit sticks. Wheat, oatmeal, coconut, apple, orange peel, dried banana, etc. For fruit, I always suggest fresh fruit when possible as it's better for the health of your guinea pigs and they will appreciate it more. I was asked where I get the vitamin C. It's usually found in all good pet stores. Healthy treats for your pets. These are usually made from compressed hay and dried fruit. I think I'll try the hay cake with carrot. Enrichment toys for small animals. A hay coral. I find it very beautiful and hay is very accessible for your fur babies. More enrichment toys. Lots of things to snack on. I already have this one and my girls love it. Applewood lugs. Carrot shaped hay, Timothy hay and flowers, If you didn't know, there's nothing nutritious in dried corn kernels for guinea pigs. Toppings Dry fruit Apple, banana, papaya, pineapple, grape, etc. Too sweet is used to garnish the meals of your pets. Ah, oh, this is what inside them. Dried flowers. Ooh, dried mealworms. I think that's for hamsters and birds. And vegetables. I think I'll try the veg. Dishes. Healthy treats. Grooming set. Harnesses are to be avoided in guinea pigs because they have fragile bones. Brushes and wound comb. Super beautiful. Small hiding places for hamsters. Super cute. 
Wooden bridges, guinea pigs love it. I repeat, they love it. Hay tunnels. Wooden hiding places, super pretty. There are also other sizes. Small blankets. Cuddle cups. Fleece pouches or a snuggle sack. And loads of accessories for small animals. Since it's a pet store, there are pets. Oh, they are too cute, these little rabbits. And here are two male guinea pigs in their cage. It's not over, let's go to Starbucks because Starbucks winter drinks are back. I ordered a peppermint mocha. At 2 degrees outside, I think my iced coffee days are over until springtime, unfortunately. I love Starbucks holiday drinks. Time to show you my final purchase. Timothy Haywood added herbs and flowers. It looks super delicious and I'm sure it smells good too. A water bottle. These pellets. Dried vegetables to sprinkle on the hay or on the pellets. Uh, I hadn't seen that there were potato flakes. Guinea pigs cannot eat potatoes. Apple sticks. Timothy flowers to snack on. The hay cake with carrots. And my peppermint mocha, of course. Let's go see if the girls enjoy the shopping. Aw, oh, Lily, that was not nice.
For the vegetables, I will remove the potato flakes. Unfortunately, dried vegetables have not been a hit with my fur babies. I hope you enjoyed the little trip to the pet store with me. I would say that I'm fortunate to have a pet store near my home that really listens to the needs of their customers and pets. In small jars, the best ornaments, they say. No need to have a big pet store. With that, I will see you soon for a new one. Bye!